West with Matador Lending. Thank you, Cindy, for joining me. Hi, thanks, Tina, for having me. Today, we are going to be doing the part two of the last video, which was on closing costs. Mm -hmm. um, so we left off by saying that a seller can help with closing costs by um, providing seller concessions um, and helping cover that payment. Yes, and if a seller doesn't want to give a contribution towards closing mm -hmm. costs, one idea is to increase the purchase price mm -hmm. of the house and ask for the same closing costs where the seller ends up netting the same amount. Okay. Keeping in mind appraisal value, so you have to know what your comps are, making yes. sure you don't go, you stay within your parameters mm -hmm. so you don't get into issues when you're under contract. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another great way, Tina, is to increase the interest rate where the buyer gets a credit from the lender. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. That could be thousands of dollars, and that could you know put somebody in a position to get a home where they wouldn't have if they didn't have that right. couple thousand dollar credit. Okay, so your monthly payments go just slightly higher. Yeah, they but could. your closing costs will be covered. Correct. Okay. Yep. And last but certainly not least is down payment assistance. Mm -hmm. You can get 100% coverage for down payment and closing costs, and sometimes you can get a refund of your earnest money. Um, at closing. So de definitely lots of options mm -hmm. and um, yeah, something and, to be considered. And there's so many different down payment assistance programs. Absolutely. Yep. All right. Well, we'll be uh, listing all of these steps or all the tips that Cindy shared with us. And I hope to see you on our next video. Okay, great. Thank you, Cindy. Thanks, Tina. Bye. Bye.